Here, you'll find the different things you can do with each family. It's everything tagged on the live map, just organized differently. You can find events, of course, sorted by disciplines. Skills are also here, so you can try to beat records set by your friends and rivals. And last but not least, there's the photo album. This is hallowed ground you're driving in. Right here is where Teal, the champion, made his bones. If you win here, it's damn certain you're going to attract his attention. Tio Marquez is the This is hallowed ground you're driving on. Right here is where Teal, the champion, made his bones. If you win here, it's damn certain you're going to attract his attention. You're just getting started. you can use to upgrade your rides. So keep bringing it in. Ah, oh, sweet. Up till now, we've only gotten green loot, but other colored loot has even cooler stuff.
Radar only works when you're on the move. So get rolling if you want to find the live reward.
It's simple. Doing things gets you followers. The more followers you have, the more you'll be invited to do cool new things where you can earn even more followers. And bucks. Big bucks, which we can use to buy all the cool stuff we want. Now this kind of race isn't just a race. It's a couple of checkpoints and you finding the best route between. Now good luck I'm not getting lost. Only the top races get to run here, which I guess says something about you. Don't get too cocky though. It's a long way from getting invited to sitting in the winner's circle. While you're here, check out the Storm X display. Making me look good.
everyone's got a moment where they realize why they're racing. Well, for me, it was the day my bike went one way and I went the other, and I broke two ribs. I picked my bike up, climbed back on, and kept running. Won that race, too. Wouldn't let myself lose no matter what. The details. Just the things you tell stories about later. Welcome to Monument Valley, one of the most beautiful places in the country, and a place where you can really push your limits or find out what they are. too safe. Take more chances. Fly closer to the ground. You don't have to if you don't want to. She's just daring you to see what you've got. Yes, that's the way to do it. Take chances. I can fly upside down at low altitude for a few minutes at a shot. Maybe someday you'll be able to do that too. You never know. The best way to explain what we do is this. Our pilots are crazy good, but sometimes they act like a bunch of snot-nosed brats. The kind of people who throw a party in a seminar. While Grumpy here is giving you his version, let me give you mine. We can do things you've never seen before because we're having fun. 
Give us a plane. We'll show you something fantastic. Racing on the ocean's not like racing on rivers and lakes. You've got to fight the waves, but if you learn to use them, they can be your friend. Then you can ride them to victory. Get ready for a new chapter in the Live Extreme series, now available. I got a call from Live. They want us back. Remember when we were outsiders just scrapping for a chance to compete? Now look at us. Had some free time, so I finally went and fixed the elevator. Now we can show off even more vehicles at the house. I know. You're welcome.
Welcome to the Gulf Coast, where we're getting ready for the second stop on the Live Extreme Tour. Last time we hit the city streets. This time, we're also going to go wild. A driver rocketing into first like that still be called a challenger? And now for the big moment. It's time for us to switch up the competition. And it's up and over the ramp and into that beautiful blue water. At Live, we're proud of giving you races no one else can. Drivers must master it all or be left behind. They've got just one shot at being the best. running out for our drivers to make a move on the water. Now let's get our hands dirty. Now that's confidence. 
letting the other drivers set the pace for the moment. We're now in the last section of the race. Here's where drivers can choose to follow the road or cut through the swamp and play in the mud. The choice is theirs. For watching the second race of the live extreme series don't forget to follow us on social media from new orleans thank you and we'll see you next time Look at the hot shot rookie. Thinks they can just roll in and walk away with it. You race for pinks, they're gonna be walking all right. Now this is what it's all about for some folks. Lights, people, party. Easy to see why going legit doesn't appeal. Gonna take some time to get more people to see it my way. The time I've got. Just look at those cars. There's some mighty fine rides lining up out there. But you know who I'm thinking our friends should be watching out for? That plain looking one right there. Huh? Doesn't look like much. It doesn't have to if it's got the right kind of monster under the hood. And if you're not careful, that monster's gonna eat you up. Wow, your sleeper car just woke up in a big way. <laughs> that car's really moving.
Cottrell, is the loadout like that street legal? None of this is street legal, hero. That's kind of the point. Hard to make people want to go legit when it means giving up something like this. Street racing's got history. It didn't start with us. Some say it began in the 20s with bootleggers. They made it out on whatever it was with the soul. They tricked out that car in order to make a clean getaway. Those souped up roasters and stock cars, you can draw a line from them to the street machines you see today. And from those drivers to us. 